Okay, welcome. There will be no... Wait, you'll be able to see my face. Look at this. All right, <laughs> here we are. I think you can kind of see me. So I have the head mount of the GoPro on right now. I didn't have time to do like edit anything this week, so I'm just gonna do a little do a little vlog outside in the woods. A little bit of a. Uh, this is literally gonna be basically 98% raw footage. Um, I just want to see what happens. I'm just gonna walk around and talk. This is gonna be a kind of podcast y almost. But I really like this. I'm gonna talk about some things that have been on my mind. It kind of uses this almost like a journal almost. But you guys get to like be there with me. Anyway, oh check it, check this out. I took the I took this picture last night. Look how freaking I don't know if you can I hope I hope you can see it. Look how jacked I am by the way. Anyway, so I set up my head mount, um, and I'm just walking around the woods right now. It's really cold out, it's like it's windy, so I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes I'll walk around and just, you know, fart around and do nothing or something, but it's cold out here, so I don't want to be out here too long. It's mostly windy. Also, fun fact that I'm going to say uh, right off the bat, oh, actually right over there, Right over there is where I did my time lapse. I think it was right there, on that stump right there. I did my time lapse uh, on my first YouTube video uh, where I read part of a book. Um, before, <laughs> so during this video, you'll be able to see how like maybe somebody can diagnose me if I have ADHD or something. I just like I, when I'm talking through things, halfway through talking through it. I think of something that sounds a little bit more interesting to talk about and then I just kind of like jump off that old conversation and start a new one. Um, it annoys me that I do it but I can't really control it. Um, so you're going to witness me go through like eight conversations sometimes. Um, so we live in front of the woods so my house is that way and all the way back over there is a pond called like a beaver pond and our neighbor has trail cams back there and she saw a black bear like a week ago it's like a half a mile away from here so like there's not really an issue but you might get first-hand footage of a black bear and then a man also getting attacked by a black bear i don't know though i'm kind of like <laughs> i don't know this hand movement thing i don't know if this looks weird but like i can like <laughs> you know Put a bear in like a chokehold or something if I have to. No, for real, I'm booking it though. I don't think I'll see one. Hey, look, choke him. Hey, hey, choke him. It wasn't this one. It wasn't this one. It was a different trail cam. Um, so hopefully no black bear. Hopefully no black bear. Um, they're tiny though. But like, not that black bears. Not that you want to mess with a black bear. But like you don't want to mess, you don't want to mess with brown bears, grizzly bears, polar bears. Oh, if you mess with the polar bear, you're just asking for it. Also, I messed with the angle on this camera. Whew, I'm getting winded walking around. I I messed with the angle on this camera, and it should be, it should be good. You should be like getting like a decent view of the woods in front of me. That was the that was the whole point. Just kind of like a relaxing like visual thing while I just talk so you don't have to look at my face the entire time you know you can kind of just like put this on in the background and listen and then at the same time like watch the woods that looks fun right that sounds fun um I want to talk about a Gary V video I saw yesterday that really resonated with me and I just want to share the knowledge amongst people. So, he was basically saying how he's 46, I think, 44. And he was talking with someone that's 64. It's talking about something 
that a business idea that he's going to do that's going to take 20 years to build or something. And he he really liked how that guy was was like talking like he had so much time left because he does. I think people, and this is what he was saying, is that people these days have a terrible terrible relationship with time, and they think they always think that they don't have time. And life is short, yes. Like that's not something that anyone's trying to argue. Life is short in the grand scheme of things. But also, I'm 21 years old right now. I have, I'm a pretty healthy person. So unless something catastrophic happens, I'm, I have another at least 60 to 70 years, right? I'm a pretty healthy person. I'd like to say I'm gonna live to at least 80. Oh man, look at that trail, it goes right up the hill. Um, so, like, I I'm starting to think about it, like I have, oh! I didn't know this was that squishy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I didn't know this was squishy. Man. These like aren't outside shoes either. Anyway, um, nothing you can do about it. So um, I, I need to start thinking about it as if like I have so much time to do the things that I want to do. So the point, the, the point I'm trying to get to, but I keep going off on tangents, is that your 20s and your into your 30s is the perfect time to take risks and not immediately settle for the life that everybody else lives, right? Take that chance, move to, I almost fell down that hill. Man, maybe this wasn't a good idea, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm out of breath walking there. <laughs> Hold on, give me one second. Whew. Okay, so, you know, 20, 20s and 30s mainly your 20s but that's the time to take risks do the things that you want to do work towards your goal maybe take a cut in pay maybe take a cut in lifestyle if it means getting you towards something that's going to make you happier so for me it's man it wasn't even that big of a hill that wasn't even that big of a hill Whew. okay for me, that means like working on my YouTube, something that actually makes me happy and also like not so much worrying about making like the perfect video and making the perfect this, the perfect that, the, you know? So like, I know I said, I know I said in one of my last videos that I'm gonna start taking this seriously. I'm gonna start just trying to get better videos, which I am, like, that's what I want. But I don't, I'm trying to not pressure myself into, into, into thinking that. I'm trying to not pressure myself into thinking like you need better videos. You know, I've been, I was watching, I watch a lot of Will Tennyson videos. And his videos are fantastically made. They're, ve they're very, very well put together. It's, they're, like, they're, they're scripted. They look great. They're edited great. And like me working towards that. It's just like, eventually, yes. Do I need to be on that level right now? Do I need to like be worried about posting a video because I don't think it's perfect? No, just post the video, right? Eventually it'll be like doing what he does will be easy. And it won't be like, oh, I have to put like thousands of hours into editing this video. You know what I mean? So, See, I've, I've, I've lost my train of thought here. I've moved on to something else I want to talk about later. <laughs> I apologize. Let's jump back to what I was saying, which is maybe taking a pay cut, maybe taking like, uh, maybe getting a cheaper, but le but like worse car, maybe living in, maybe living far, far from home in order to like be in a situation that like helps you more get to what you want. That's like when people move to LA so they can focus on their like acting career or you know, whatever. So it's what I've been focusing on recently. And so I, I have a, I have a, a full-time job right now. 
I don't like hate it, but I don't love it. So recently I've been considering, when I say recently, I mean the last 24 hours, I've been considering maybe leaving that and trying to find something somewhere to like, I don't know. I don't know, these are, these are still like in the back of my mind. Like I just started thinking about these. And that, like, do I wanna move somewhere where I can focus on YouTube? Maybe get like, like I don't need, I don't need a lot of money, right? I don't need a lot of money to do, to do YouTube. I just need to like be able to feed myself and have rent and everything. So I can get like, move somewhere where I can focus on, on this. Whether that's a different state, is it a different city, different country, I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet. That's that that's in the coming weeks. Um, but I think these are the things that, that, that people should be thinking about. Like you don't have to move out of your house, you don't have to move out of your city, you don't even have to you don't have to move out of your state, country, whatever. You don't have to do any of that. But if that's something that you think may make you happier, at the end of the day, you can't afford to not try to do the things that make you happy in life whatever that may be whatever that may be so i come I, I get out of college my first thought and what everybody around me not like purposely but every, every everybody around me thinks is that hey you should probably go get a job get a good job maybe eventually you can buy a house yada, yada, yada. Like, yeah those are great things those are fantastic things to do but i'm 21 years old do i really need to be working towards these things that are going to give me like that I want eventually, but I don't really need right now. I don't, I don't I, right, right now. I don't want a kid. I don't want, I don't want a family right now, right? So I work towards them. Oh my goodness. There was a cow up there. I don't know if you saw it on video. There's a black cow up there. Scared the living crap out of me. I thought it was a bear. Oh my goodness. I think I, just, I think I just crapped my pants. Well, I don't want to go that way anyway. Cause it's going to bully me. <laughs> I actually just crapped myself cause there, there are cows out here. So I gotta, gotta remember that when like, they're not all bears. <laughs> We're going to go this way. We're going to go off roading. Um, uh, my legs are sore also because I went to the gym and did a hard leg day yesterday. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, definitely thought that was a bear. I maybe peed a little. Um, so yeah, I'm getting off, getting off tangent again. So working toward like this is the time there's another cow and i thought it was a bear again hope you can see this one this time see moo cow moo cow we just might have to walk past it they're, they're nice they won't they won't bother me as long as it's not the bull that might be the bull The bull's, the bull's mean. I don't know. I don't know what the bull looks like. I'll just go this way. We have like two bulls and they're mean. Um, but the girl cows are nice. Okay, this is super sketchy. I'm going to fall on my ass in about two seconds. But, sorry, fall on my butt. Eat, eat. Eat, 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 eat. E, 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 e. Okay. I lost I lost track of what I was talking about. Shocker. Um yeah, so being being 20 years old is the time to take risk and time to do the things that you want to do in life. Right? Take a cut on some things if it's gonna get you towards whether that is building a business, whether that's like it could be anything. It doesn't have to be entrepreneurial. It doesn't have to be anything specific. There's no rules to what has to make you happy or what can make you happy. But moving towards 
a lifestyle that other people want or that you want eventually, I don't think is a smart move right out of the gate. Because you have time, you have plenty of time. Even Gary V, who he's 44 years old, he's like, if, if, if 22 year olds knew what it felt like to be a 44 year old and still feel this young, would slow down, would stop trying to be so successful so young, would stop trying to force their life to go and just let things happen, working towards the things that you enjoy. So, yeah, that's my little TED talk about doing what you love in life. Listen, it's it's not complicated. It's not complicated. Do the things you enjoy. Get away from the things that don't make you happy. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. There's thing else I want to talk about. Drake came out with an album yesterday. So I was not looking. I was not like. I was so whacked out about that. Cause I didn't know. I was just doing squats or something. I checked my phone. And Spotify sent me a notification that's like Drake's new album, honestly never mind. And I'm like, I was like, hold up. Sorry if, if it if the wind is like getting you guys right now. Man. Man. I'm out of breath. I need to do more cardio. Um Yeah, I was like, wow, damn dude. I was not expecting this. Anyway, it's not it's not bad. I like a lot of the songs. It's giving me like a like an older Drake like views a views vibe. Got like old like 2014 sounding um, music in it. At least the few I've listened to so far. I like it. I like it. Um, what else? What else? What else? There's something else. Oh yeah, I went hiking the other day. Uh, me and my friend Chase hiked Mount Everest. No, we hiked in the Adirondacks, uh, Haystack, Basin, and Sawtief, right? Um, it was, I had a lot of fun. I got a lot of it on camera um, on this exact GoPro. It's on there, but I, uh, during the hike, I lost my micro sd to sd card adapter somehow i think it was like in my bag and when i was putting my gopro away it fell out so i think it's still just at the top of mount of, of mount basin right now i think it's just sitting there at the top of mount basin um so I, I i bought a new one i bought a new one but i haven't had time to get the footage over from my gopro yet we're getting there though we're getting there so look out for that video um, it's gonna be a banger. It's gonna be pretty cool, honestly. Cause I had the chest strap on most of the time. Um, I didn't record past Mount past, past Basin, so you only see Haystack and Basin. You don't get to see. Sadly, you don't get to see Sawtooth, but I have a few videos and pictures of it. I was just like tired of having it on my chest. I was getting exhausted, so I'm like, you know what? That's enough. That's enough footage for today. <laughs> So I had a lot of fun then. Um, also, 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 I'm going to Greece this August. Um, if everything goes according to plan, I'm going to Greece. So look out for that video eventually. I mean, I haven't. It's June right now, um, but I'm going to Greece. I'm 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 so I'm so freaking excited. I might have to get more SD cards. Because I have a 128 gig and a 64 gig one. I don't know if that'll be enough for like a week and a half of footage. So I may have to get like yet another SD card. That might have to be the plan. That might have to be the plan that we do. You feels? Man, I keep thinking that I see bears. I'm, I, I kind of psyched myself out by even mentioning bears in the first place. Yeah, that was a... It was a good idea on my part. Huh. Anyway. 
I think that's all I want. Uh, it's kind of all I really wanted to talk about. There's been a few things on my mind recently. Is there, hold on, give me one second and just ponder my brain. And you guys can just take like a silent little 360 around the forest while I think about anything else I wanted to talk about. Um, I want to oh yeah, I want to update you guys on the uh, year into working out video. There's some additional things I wanted to do in it, so not coming out probably that soon. Um, I just I wanted to take like a separate spin on it um, because even with just like my fitness, I'm so different than even a year ago. Two years ago, I'm a, I'm a separate person entirely, so I want to outline that a lot, and I just want to like. Sh show that like what even simple changes in your routine can can, can change about you um so i'm um, i'm really like i'm really looking forward to that because i as i was like back when i was getting the footage off from my uh phone front through like icloud and stuff i was just looking at all the pictures and like off of like snapchat memories and stuff back to the deer cam what's up um, when I was looking through those pictures, it was just bringing back a lot of, a lot of memories. And you know how when, well, for people that have went through like big changes like this, it, it legit seems like I didn't do those things. Like there are th videos from like three years ago that I remember doing, but it's, but it, at the same time, I'm like, man, I don't like remember I remember when it happened, but I don't remember like, I don't have like a conscious view like of my mind when I did that. So it's like, I was almost on like autopilot. That's the best way I can explain it, which is also a really bad way of explaining it. But that's all I got for you. <laughs> um, man, I might do more videos like this. If you guys like this, let me know in the comments. Um, I like I, I walk through the woods all the time so might as well do like a little vlog thing while I am out here um, yeah still working on what I want to do with speak yogurt I might just I might go back to it I might not I might just do these instead of that and just call these speak yogurt and then I can upload the audio to there but that doesn't seem very fair to you guys getting the just the same audio that's in a YouTube video so I'll figure out what I want to do there. Let's go down here really quick. Let's go down here really quick. Um, I'm also reading this new book. I'm reading, reading three books right now. First, I'm trying to learn Greek before I go to Greece. Um, I just want to be able to at least talk. I want to be able to speak a little bit of Greek. Um, I don't need to be like fluent in it. But I also do, I want to be fluent in a, in, a, in a second language. So maybe if I end up liking Greek, maybe that'll be my second language. I can speak, I can pretty much full, I can basically fully understand Spanish and I can speak a, a decent amount of Spanish. Um, I would have to like do a refresher in order to be really, really good at it. This is, a, man, I'm getting hiccups. This is a cornfield. For those of you who don't know what that is. Man, I love living in an area like this. I love having this in my backyard. I think I've said it in another video. I love having the woods in my backyard. Which is also part of the decision of like, do I want to move somewhere else? I won't have access. I won't have 24-7 access to these woods anymore. They're just so nice. Just to walk around the woods. Man, it's underrated. It's really underrated. Um, a mosquito bit me on my hand and it itches now. It itches now. Man, I was gonna I was gonna say something else, but I forgot. So 
Oh, yes. So I'm learning, that's right, my books. So I'm learning Greek right now, so I have a Greek book. Um, I'm gonna pro I might buy a textbook soon. It'll like be like better to learn through it. This is just like learning like how to say the words. Um, then I just gotta learn a bunch of vocabulary and remember it. Which that's the that's the easy part. That's just repetition. Um, I'm reading Leg Letters of a Stoic um, by Seneca. Those are pretty and in, pretty in, insightful. Honestly, I really enjoy those. This is the most beautiful part of the woods right here. It's just so open, so calm. I love it. Um, so very insightful. An you know, old Roman uh, philosopher. He has a lot of kind of dumb things to say. Like, not dumb, like, I wouldn't listen to that. Dumb, like, one story was him just jumping off a boat. It's all of the letters that, that were collected from his, like, house, or, I guess, or something. So not all of them are, like, not all of them are letters of endearment or, like, lessons. But a lot of it, a lot of them are lessons. So a few of my favorite ones so far are oh, this one this one is my favorite one so basically it talks about how in in all cultures people talk about people as as friends we people don't, people don't know what the term friend actually is supposed to mean so if if there's somebody in your life that you wouldn't tell them the heck the it's a bit of a weird noise coming from around this corner. I think it's the cows. Just making weird noises like cows do. A friend is not a, a friend in. Oh, maybe it's a tree squeaking. Um, a friend is someone. Yeah, it is. They're not just simply an acquaintance. Like if you meet someone and you have a good conversation with them, like let's just talk to the U.S. If I have a conversation with someone and it goes good, and we like like e like not like each other like that, but like we enjoy each other's presence. Right now, I would say, okay, that's a friend, right? That's a friend. But what a friend really means is someone that that's like that that's a connection to a separate person. So it says, be wary of who you use that term with because a friend is supposed to be basically like another another you bruh these squeaky trees are messing me up right now freaky dude um i'm bad at paraphrasing so that's like kind of the best I got for that. <laughs> I don't think I can hear this. They squeak. These squeaky trees sound demonic. That's terrifying. Um, basically, people use the term friend very loosely, and it means a lot more than people use it for. It's not just an acquaintance. It's not, I think a better term that would mean more of what friend should mean is when people say like best friend. Like she's my best friend, he's my best friend. Is like, that's, that's a connection or like, yeah. I don't know, that's the best I got. I. I'm sorry, you guys have, you're gonna have to read it. Letters of a Stoic. You're gonna have to read it. The third one is called, I will self bleep. It's called, uh, what is it? Simple lesson, the s subtle, subtle way to not give a frick. I think, yeah. Subtle, subtle way to not give a frick or something like that. Um, I'm only like a few pages into that, but that's really good so far. It's already taught me a lot, and like you only have so many. He uses, he swears a lot, so that that kind of 
honestly takes away from it. Um, I feel like you could like swear a little less. Um, but you know, if that's the way that he talks, whatever. But it's like every other sentence has the F word in it. I'm not against it, but like that many times, like, okay, calm down. Um, but you only have so many fricks you can give, so you need to be wary about what you give a frick about. Like some things you just, that cashier was mean to you. Who gives, who, who gives a rip? Who cares, right? Who cares? That. Like, oh, my tire's flat. Okay, what are you going to do about it? Fix it? Okay, stop crying about it. <laughs> you know, it's a little harsh way of thinking, but, like, it is a necessary way of thinking. Um, if you're going to, like, not have a terrible life, you can't worry about every little thing. Right? The subtle art of not giving a frick is what it's called. That's what it's called. Okay. Uh, by Mark Manson. Anyway. So, hold on. Oh, it's good to take that off. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. No. I have a... Anyway, that's all I got for the video today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed a little like half an hour vlog, just me walking around in the woods. I hope it was good. Um, like, I hope the footage is good. And that's a better angle. Yeah. Uh, I look forward to making more videos. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Uh, like, subscribe, comment your favorite. What? Your favorite what? What's something I had yesterday? Um, oh, what is the favorite thing to dip your chips in? Because I, I had nachos. I made nachos yesterday, and I had chicken wing dip. Comment your favorite dip. Any kind of thing you can dip a tortilla chip inside, let me know in the comments. I am curious. I need to expand my, 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 my horizon, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And gals. And deuces.